formulate ideas or questions or things that might intrigue you. And we hope that today's experience will at least give you some ideas, maybe for your future to sign up for some classes, because a lot of our teachers' students actually teach around here, and so in, in Orange County. And then also, um, even if you're not really an art person, as far as fine arts, I know you're all into arts of some sort, at least it'll even influence your language because it does it does show that you care even though even when you uh, register for this class. So. Can I can I jump mm -hmm. in a little bit? Yeah. So um, if we are not uh, the one doing the, the painting, we can at least the people to be able to in, uh, appreciate this art. So I'm just going to point it out. Each one of that, the, the one they make it like more more formal form. They always have a like a year, like a nian, as you can see. That's what year is that? The and then it's the the time when they make that kind of the that's art. And then they will have their name. So this is a big shower. So this is over. And then this that. So the the way you you learn about your hanzi, what always a great foundation for you to learn calligraphy later on. And then our form right there. And you know it's you. Yeah, so they all have this. So okay. I I wanted to just add one more thing. There's three styles of brush painting. Okay, now Albert, you can see, Albert, you come up and point out your work. He does a, a traditional way where you can paint over your paintings again and again. You can add ink streaks or whatever afterwards. Uh, and then Jennifer and I, we, we do more of the spontaneous style where you load everything on your brush, you just do one stroke or two strokes, and it's done. You don't go back over it. There is also a fine line, which is not represented here, but fine line is very different. It looks kind of like stained glass, and I know that some of you probably have seen it. You draw real fine edge lines, perimeter lines, and then you fill in your colors layer by layer by layer. So it's kind of glassy looking. You know, so anyway, there are these three types. Okay, so Albert, you go ahead and point out your Okay, uh, this is my work here. I did it in the year of the rooster. So so here, the, the year and the date, and then my name and shop. And this one, uh, I don't think this is a kind of spontaneous brush paint. So this one, the mandarin, that. Uh, this one is more on Western variety, the type, the type of the painting, the subject, this is the goldfish. And actually, we have a lot of different um, Chinese painting, like Sujan uh, said, like we have. Uh, Japanese painting, Chinese painting, um, um, all Asian countries they have. And one of the Chinese painting, they call it Lingnam style, is something like this. So uh, very rough. Um, it's not smooth. As like you can see, it, Jennifer is very clean. This look Western. And this one is more on, uh, they wanted to see, uh, to show you the texture the dog and this one is just inspiration of the western the 